Hi everyone. Today I'd like to show you some ideas for toys that you can create for your parrot. These are things that you may have around the house, find at garage sales, may be stored in your attic that you can create toys for your parrots to play with without spending a lot of money on purchased toys from the pet store. First I want to show you one of Ziggy's favorite toys. This is his music box. When it's tipped, it makes a sound. When the top is pressed, it plays a tune. Every night when he goes to bed, the last thing he hears is his music box. He has learned to use the button that I've glued on top to move the music box and make it play all by itself. He tried very, very hard to do it before I applied the button, but after applying the button, he was successful quite quickly. These are some simple plastic beads. You probably have them in your children's toy box. These would not be for a large parrot. This would be for a small parrot. But they can hang on the cage, and birds love to untie the knots. Some of them are quite creative about untying knots. For a larger parrot, the ball and chain type chain that you can buy at any hardware store, it comes in many different sizes. Select a large size of ball for a large parrot, and do watch that the large parrot does not get his beak in to cut the balls apart, but my parrots have been playing with this for years, and have thoroughly enjoyed it. The last one I would like to show you is a braided perch. I took three strips of an old sheet that I was going to throw away. I've attached them to a chair to make it easy for me to braid, and using a simple three-strand braid, just as if you were braiding hair, I will braid the length that I desire. This can be used in many different ways. My Ziggy loves to have it on his play tree so he can climb about easily. He also has one inside his house that he enjoys. For a larger parrot, you could braid three of these and then braid the three together. It's quite an effective toy. Now some parrots may try to uh, tear the material apart. If so, just watch and make sure that there are no strings that they can hang themselves in. But for most parrots, they will just enjoy the toy. When I get to the length I want, I'm simply going to create a knot. And then I will knot the other end that I had attached to the chair for ease in braiding. If you have a bird that's fairly small, or one that has feather plucking problems. Leave some material on the end. Let them tear it up. It's cheap. It's easy to make. They're not going to do any harm by tearing it apart. And it will give them an opportunity to get that preening instinct out rather than plucking their own feathers. Now another wonderful toy I've found for feather pluckers is to purchase the mop head of a string mop. Take some of the strings off, or if it's a commercial head that is finished, you can cut it into sections and place that in the cage. They simply love turning those strings into balls of fuzz, and it gets that instinct out with keeping them amused without plucking feathers. It can be a great tool to help you with a feather plucker, but other birds enjoy this because they can back into it and get a hiding place to sleep. These are just some ideas to make you think about things around your house that you can use to create inexpensive toys for your pets. Thank you.